cool. Hi, Simon. Uh, here we have the TGR Pro Series. This is a standing multi-flight. And next door to it, we have, this has been in commercial use in our gym for seven years. This is part of the Performance Series. So you can see a few differences. Is although this is of commercial grade and is lasted exceptionally well, you've got things like plastic knobs, plastic shrouds, rubber handles with no caps. Whereas on this one, although this particular piece hasn't got a shroud, is the Pro Series does have metal shrouds, uh, aluminium knobs, and then you see the different finish on the handles. So that's the difference between the Pro and Performance. Today though, we are looking at this new piece, the standing multi-flight, uh, perhaps the most famous version being the original by Panata. And now there's a few on the market. So I'll just show you it quickly is you see on the muscle chart, it gets advertised for pretty much working everything. The reality is, is that things like a front raise or pull down, lap pull down aren't particularly good. I would say you're going to use it for three, maybe four primary exercises. Those being a lateral raise, bent over laterals and a crossover. Maybe you might do a fly as well, but those three being the primary ones, I would use it for. I'll show you how to adjust it. This whole system looks heavy, uh, but it is supported. So I won't be able to release this particularly well unless I just put a little bit of load on there. Now I want to get this level with my shoulders to perform a lateral raise. So it's pretty much in the right position. Same with these handles, they easily adjust depending on the exercise. So I'm going to have them fairly close in to do my lateral raise. Make it ever so slightly lighter. This is why we haven't got a shroud on this one because of the pulley network, but you don't need a shroud on this particular piece. And then away we go. One of the reasons I like this one less for something like a front raise is because the angle of the handles. The angle is perfect for doing a lateral raise and keeping your palms in the right position and also a bent over. So I will show you a bent over quickly. So let's drop this unit down. As I said, just a little bit of pressure on there and this drops down easily. So I'll probably have it to about there. Uh, yeah, that'd probably be about right for me. Again, you could stand that here to do bent overs. Personally, the proportions are right that I use the head pad. It is adjustable, but just leaving it in that set position is fine for me. And that is a comfortable bent over lateral raise. Right, the other one I'd use it for is crossover. So I'll just put it up. See, all of these pieces are actually nice to use as well with the aluminium guides and this. See, like it wants to carry up by itself, so I'm not even supporting it there. Don't get frustrated if it's at the bottom and you want it up quicker because you're not going to help it too much by trying to force it. Uh, right, I'm going to have it fairly high. So what are we on? Number three. Let's move the handle positions out. So I'm putting those on about nine which should give me a good stretch to start feeling more confident with this one so let's put the load up there's a decent stack on here so you've got it listed in pounds and kilos so 185 pounds or 84 kilos for myself this is also why i wouldn't use it for something like that pull downs this it would end up a bit too light that is a nice stretch and a really nice contraction for this might even take me away from my favoured cables. All right, that's enough of watching me do uh, reps and sets, but we're, we all like this piece. Um, we were giving it an eight out of 10. I'm sure we could give it more, but really simple. Easy. Once you've been shown how to use it, then it is really simple and easy. So, um, there we go. Let's just lower this down for the next person because someone's likely to do lateral raises on it and we'll stick the stack weight up a little so there's a better starting weight. Um, we will include a little QR code on here just showing those three basic exercises. So then you have to show less people in a gym environment. They can just scan it and away they go.